Hi, this is Nisho here, SolidTech application engineer with a quick blog video about a new feature of SolidWorks 2013 called the Flat Tree Display. Now, the, the Flat Tree Display is something that allows us to see features in our Feature Manager tree here based on the order in which they were created. Now, currently we see that in this part here, a user has created three features. So we have the base feature, we have a feature called EXTR1, and we have a feature called EXTR2. And um, they were created in that order. So the base was created first, EXTR1 was created next, and then the R2 was created third. Now, if we were to expand just these two, for example, here, and I edit sketch three, I'll we'll just select that in Edit Sketch 3. We see that Sketch 2 is currently available for me to select and um, create relations off of. However, if I just drag um, EXTR2 just to that point here, thereby rearranging the, the, the order in which these features were created, now if I select Sketch 3 here and edit it, we'll see that Sketch 2 has been grayed out. It is no longer available for me to create relations off of. Um, the reason that's happened is because as far as SOLIDWORKS is concerned, um, Sketch uh, EXTR1 was created after EXTR2. So it's no, it's no longer available for us to use uh, for the purpose of creating external relations. Now, there is another uh, more easier way for us to view this. Sometimes this... Um, uh, uh, method of looking at the at the tree and trying to figure out uh, what features are available to create relations off of is a little bit daunting and sometimes can be confusing uh, when the feature manager tree is quite big. So I'm just going to leave this like this and what we can do again uh, uh, new for 2013 is the ability to just right click at the very top and this only is available by the way for part models. So what we can do is in a part model right click at the very top select tree display and then select flat tree view and now what this will do is this will unconsume these features and sketches and show them in the order that they were created so what we have here is we we see that sketch one was created first and then it was consumed in an extrude uh, called base and then we see that uh, we created EXTR2 uh, after that one. Now remember, EXTR2 uh, originally existed as the very last feature in the tree, but then I had dragged it to be in the second uh, position. So now SOLIDWORKS is reporting that uh, it was created second, and then finally EXTR1 was created third. Now we can easily see that if I right click sketch 3 and select edit, what it will do is any features that are below sketch 3 will be grayed out and any features that are above sketch 3 will be available for me to select uh, to create relations off of. So this can um, clear things up uh, and, and make it far less confusing because in this particular mode we can just edit a feature and anything above it is, avail is available for relations, anything below it will not be available, making it far less confusing for us to use SOLIDWORKS. Um, now there are some limitations in this particular uh, feature and you can just do a quick search in your SOLIDWORKS help for flat tree display. The limitations are some of these um, features are not cannot be unconsumed to show the the order in which they were created. So, for example, simple hole, hole wizard hole, and a few others, um, you cannot uh, unconsume the sketches to show um, the order in which they were created. A quick way to toggle between the flat tree display mode and versus the normal mode is to simply select Control T on your keyboard. So there I've selected Control T, and it's basically going to flat tree display mode. Hitting Control T one more time, and we'll take it back into normal display mode. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please check out our channel or the links on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to receive updates on our recent videos.